some of the things that some of our kids have I've been learning this past year. I'm going to invite Janet. Uh, would you come up here with us? And so while, while, the, while the men are ministry a lot of times meets up here, and then we have our kids' ministry downstairs, I don't know if you realize, but in the choir room, our youth group meets, yeah. right? And so, and so tell me, what happens in youth group? Okay, so it's, it's going to be like, firstly, we will chat with each other, mm-hmm. talk about like the how it happens our week, like whole week. Oh, if I grab the mic there. And uh, firstly, we will sing some songs to worship God, and which is, is my favorite part. Mm. And then we will read some specific scripture that related to the video we're going to watch later. And uh, we would like to discuss some questions uh, about the scripture, and uh, Pastor Jean will answer the scripture for us to help us to understand the God's words. Mm. And uh, secondly, we will watch a video that connects with the scripture and uh, the theme of that day. And we also will share our own faith experience and a story with others to show that living out our faith uh, is a lifelong journey and filled with both challenges and uh, blessings. And uh, finally, we will prefer to play some games to strengthen the relationships between the teenagers. And uh, the lastly is like we will pray for each other, mm. like some difficulties, like gonna happen last week and uh, one week uh, of one month we will lead a kids group that is serving for God and we need to use our ability and the knowledge like uh, we learned until now to mm. help kids understand the importance of God and uh, how strong he is so is that where some of the whole fish and all that kind of stuff came from is all those your stories or no, no, that's no, someone else's that, okay yeah. all right cool and so how did you get involved in youth group in the first place um, kind of just like sing songs with others and uh, to uh, share my own faith experience going to mm. happen, like make me to uh, more near with God. And uh, I would like to, to answer some questions like about the Holy Bible, like I can't understand. Mm. And um, yeah, last days to making some friends. Okay. And so what's a, what's a, f- What's a fun memory you've had these last few months in youth group? Mm, let me think about it. I think it's all funny. So it's all funny. <laughs> yes. And um, we kind of uh, play some funny games for okay. Pastor Jean, like uh, prepare for us. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we also, I can listen to other people's story, like mm. different from me and uh, other perspective from others. Yeah. So can you give me an example of like what, what kinds of uh, conversations have you had that are like that? Yeah, like uh, if we learning about the scripture, mm-hmm. and, uh, it's, and for me, it's an important and a meaningful experience to me because I just baptized last year. Mm-hmm. So I think I have so many new things, uh, knowledge I have to learn mm-hmm. about God, about Jesus Christ, how to like uh, die for me and, and save me. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Topics like relationships and uh, 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 like kind of uh, can help me can apply biblical principles to my daily life. Can mm. guide me like how to uh, solve the difficulties and troubles like uh, in my life, and uh, also build strong relationship with teenagers. Like mm. making some new friends also can uh, give me the opportunities where I can receive the support and uh, encouragement uh, mm. in my spiritual growth. And uh, it all develops a deeper understanding of the Holy Bible and growing in my own uh, faith journey. Okay. And so Pastor Jim's been involved for a while, and yeah. before we've had Laura, who was involved before. Yeah, yeah. If there were others who maybe were interested in being involved, what would a re- what's a reason why you think they should get involved? Uh, I think, like... The most like can engage the teenager, then mm. making some new friends, like kind of, and uh, we also can when you because the whole week when you teenagers is like, kind of easy to offset enterprising emotions. Mm. So when you get into the church, like join like the same age with you, you're gonna feel oh this is my group. You know, mm. kind of, and uh, you also enjoying like to sing a song to God power like from God how to like the words encourage you. And uh, kind of the scripture can guide your daily life. Mm-hmm. And um, 
the play games can like strong the relationships relationship between the teenagers. Mm. Uh, like uh, you can got the, like more a uh, happier emotion. Yeah. Mm. Great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, thank you. So and so much. before you go, uh, let's let's pray for the youth ministry and for our next generation. Uh, some of you might remember that a lot of times uh, we we've said before that one of the key things in terms of a person's faith formation, especially for someone who's in, in grade school, who's in high school. You know, one of the key things that we see of how they continue to move in their faith is when an adult invests into them, right? And in fact, one of the things research shows is that if, if, a, if a young person can name five adults who's not part of their family, who they can say loves me and trust me, that I can trust, if they have five of those adults, that they're more likely to stay in their faith after the age of 25. And so I think it's highly, it, it's a high priority for us to be able to do that. And so whether it is on Friday nights or whether it's maybe some other ways, we would encourage you uh, to, to explore what that means. And so with that, let's, let's pray together. And so God, we thank you for, uh, for the kids and for the youth that you've continued to bring th uh, through the decades uh, through this place. Uh, we know that some who have been impacted and who still live their faith in different ways uh, away from our church, and we are grateful for them. And for the group that you have with us now, uh, we ask that they would be blessed because of you. Uh, we ask that we as a congregation would be willing to bless them as well. And so for all that you continue to do, uh, we thank you that your love and care for them is deeper than we could ever go. And so we place them in your hands. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Give a round of applause.